OK, I'm going to show you the process beginning to end of um, creating a worksheet. So here's a worksheet, but I truly want to show you from the beginning. So I'm going to go to my worksheets. I'm going to click Create Worksheet. And I had already typed out the title. And I am just going to put a 2 here so it doesn't tell me there's a mistake. All right. And I am going to go to my downloads, which I downloaded as a PDF. And I'm going to pull it in. So here's the interesting thing that happens when you have multiple pages in a PDF or Word document. I can click this. Now it won't upload that one. So I can choose which ones I want it to upload. In this case, I want it to do all of them. So I'm just going to click uh, create the worksheet. I am going to add directions at the top that just say simply, uh, please type your name on the font. I'm going to put it in bold and I'm going to change the font to red just so that it stands out. And then I'm going to click save change it, changes. There we go. Now, these are multiple choice questions. The only thing I did here was make them vertical. It's a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about matching up the terms. So I'm going to insert a multiple choice question. This first one has five choices, and I'm going to insert it. All I want to do is do this. Now you can see that it's hiding a little bit of the word. So I can click this box and make it transparent. I need to check, check the right answer. Okay, now I'm going to insert multiple choice. This is four choices. As soon as I click, it's there. I'm just going to drag it so it lines up. Coronal divides into this. Okay, that wasn't covering up anything, so I don't need to make that transparent. Insert multiple choice. Four choices. Click. Drag it where I need it to go, lengthen it. Uh, these two are not opposite of each other. Insert, multiple choice, four choices. Again, click here, drag down. Okay, this one, as I have it, I'm going to make it transparent. Do you see now it's not hiding those words? And least abundant, here we go. Insert. Multiple choice, four choices, click here, is click where I want it, drag down. Do you see again how easy it is to manipulate? And again, a little bit better putting them vertically. I just had some issues when I was doing it horizontally. Okay, matching. Matching takes a little bit of time to set up, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So matching, you're going to get a box. You're going to do this, insert matching make another box insert matching make another box all right i'm going to pause as i get through all of the all of the boxes again you can see i can adjust it so i'm going to pause as i get all of my boxes drawn okay you can see i am all set now with my matching so here's how i'm going to do it if i click on one and if i click on edit matching i can see the directions and I am going to click on this one. I want to match it. So I'm going to press shift and click on the correct answer. It shows up green. Click, shift. So click, then shift and click. Click, then shift and click. Click, shift, click. Click, shift, click. Click, shift, click. That's it, easy peasy, matching, done. True, false, okay? I'm going to insert true, false. There we go, click here. See, that doesn't do anything, so I'm just going to leave this, but I do want it to be transparent. Okay, I'm going to move it so it's on the line. Uh, insert. True, false, right here. Transparent. I'm just going to adjust it again until I see this. Move it. 
I click on the correct answer. All right, so insert true false, click, click on the right answer. Insert true false, click where you want it, false. I'm going to choose the correct answer. All right, I can adjust it, I can make it transparent. Insert last one, true false, click where I want it. I'm going to click the correct answer and just move it so I adjust it. See, having the line there was easy. Uh, fill in the blank. Okay, I'm going to insert a drop down, edit the drop down, and my choices. I'm going to be transverse, coronal, sagittal. Okay, now I need to move, I need to, I'm going to check this, but I need to check my answer. Oh, left and right. So that would be sagittal. That is the correct answer. Shuffle the order, just mix them around. Save the changes. Okay, and then I'm going to continue, insert, drop down. Let's see. Edit drop down. Choose the correct answer, save it. Okay, I'm going to pause here. Okay, here's my last question type. Again, this is body cavity labeling. It says label each numbered item with one word only. <clears throat> Spelling matters. Okay, so this goes one through nine. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is make a um, text box right here, insert text over here, and I'm gonna edit the text and go one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> and I'm gonna make it all old. Lengthen this so I can see it. All right, drag it up. Okay, easy peasy. Now I'm going to insert a short answer. And I'm going to click here. Number one is thoracic. Insert short answer. Number two is abdominal. the box over like that okay and I'm going to continue I'm going to pause this for a minute as I finish this <clears throat> all right maybe okay and there we have it the whole test modified I already had this I didn't have to rewrite it all I had to do was put in the correct question types multiple choice matching true false with right answers fill in the blank same with body cavity labeling um, easy peasy. All right, so it's automatically saved. So if I go back to my worksheets, here I am. Let's uh, preview this one. Okay, so preview the worksheet. Here we go. Type your name on the line. You can easily see they're going to be able to choose correct answers. Matching, look, transverse here, here, abdominal, here, like that. Okay, true, false, just simply selecting here, pick the right drop down.
Okay, they can easily tell which one they chose. Click on it again, it'll show them. Here, they're gonna have to type an answer. Okay, check my answers. All wrong, all wrong. Okay, shows me everything I got wrong. Okay, and my total score. Easy peasy.